Hi, my name is Pastor David Fredrickson, and as I spoke last Sunday, we were still speaking on seeing the harvest. And something that I want to point out is is a very famous part of the scripture. And, and, and it's the part where Jesus was entering into the temple and he flipped the tables because he was so angry. And so many people know the story very well, but they, they read past it or they don't see a certain part that I'd just like to point out right now. And so why don't we go right into it? Matthew 21, 12 says this, Jesus entered the temple courts and drove out all who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves. And so there were actual doves in this temple and they were in captivity. See, they were kept in cages. And so when Jesus was actually flipping the tables, something that happened was those cages hit the ground and the doves were set free. And so the doves flew out of the building and shortly after this incident, in in the scripture, you realize the fact that there was a a giant harvest of people that were brought to the Lord. Now we look at this and we know that the dove can represent the Holy Spirit. And I really do believe that we can apply this to our lives today. You see, as the Spirit flew out of the building, it reached many people and brought them back to Christ. And so we are the church. Not the building being the church, but we as the bride of Christ being the church are to go out just as the Holy Spirit goes out and reach these people that God desires for us to reach and bring them back to Christ. Bring them into the church, us as a people. You see, when we look at how to do this exactly, we can look at that dove that Jesus set free. We can look at the Holy Spirit. You see, a dove has obviously a left and a right wing, but on each wing, there is actually nine parts of that wing that that really make it work together. And so all nine uh, parts of this wing work together to guide the dove and cause it to fly the way that it does. And see, those nine parts actually represent uh, one side being the nine fruits of the Spirit, one side being the nine gifts of the Spirit. And so as we look into this, we know for a fact that we are to walk out as the dove goes out of the church. We are to walk out in the fruits of the Spirit. What are the fruits of the Spirit? As we all know, the love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And we can look at the other wing and realize we are equipped to do the ministry of the kingdom. And these nine parts are the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. These are the words of wisdom, word of knowledge, faith, gifts of healing, working of miracles, prophecies, uh, discerning of spirits, and, and speaking in tongues, and the interpretation of tongues. And so you have these nine fruits that you are to walk in, and you have these nine gifts that are at your access. And now something that we don't always realize is that even though not everybody has to be called to full-time ministry, everybody can position themselves in one of the five-fold ministries. And as we look at the dove flying, we realize that it's not just two wings that guide this dove in flight. It has a tail feather that helps it keep uh, stability. This really just keeps it from, you know, driving way off course. And so we can look at that, that tail feather and realize there are five core parts. There's way more than five feathers, but there are five core parts just as there are nine parts on each wing. There are five core parts that guide it, that direct it. And these represent the five-fold ministries. And that's the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, and the teachers. And so some people may feel that they are not to walk out in one of those positions, that they're not to be in full-time ministry. And that's true. Not everybody is called to necessarily full-time ministry. But however, when we go out of the building and when we bring people to Christ using those nine gifts and those nine fruits, you are actually acting out in one of these five-fold positions. And so you see, in your lifetime, you are called to be walking in one of these positions whether you know it or not. And so you don't have to be in the pulpit on a Sunday morning in a building speaking to tons of people to be walking in these positions. You are walking in Christ as we have been speaking about and you fulfill one of those positions. So just as Jesus Christ freed the dove from the temple and they flew out and drew people into him, we are to go out and partner with the Holy Spirit using those nine gifts, those nine fruits, and the fivefold ministries to bring people to Christ.